worked on making bamboo and made a panda bear. And now what we're going to do is add a lake for him to swim in with a little boat for him to cruise in along with a tree to shelter him from the shade. So go ahead and open up the lake tutorial from the website. And what we're going to start out with is the boat. Now we're going to use the brush tool uh, to make the boat. Now your brush tool is on the left side, okay? And use the brush tool. On the right side, you'll show a lot of options you have for your brushes. You can go ahead and s select the type you want of brush. Um, I'm going to choose a charcoal feather brush. You can choose the brush that you'd like. Uh, now when you make the boat, the first way you want to make it is close. Like when you draw it, draw it and make sure it, uh, you connect your shape of the first section of the boat. Because we're going to go ahead and color that in like brown. And then we'll go ahead and do the other parts of the boat. Next we're going to be making the chain that's tight, keeping the boat to the stick. So we're actually going to go into brushes and under the triple line arrow, open brush library. And we're going to choose borders and borders dashed. And under borders dashed, you'll see one called dash circle 1.4. It's the fifth one down. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Hit my brush tool and double click on that brush that you're going to be using under the brush tab. If you don't have that, go to Windows tab. And then um, what I'm going to do is make sure you have the first one as the original. And I'm going to scale this down to 20% so that our circles aren't really huge. And then I'm going to draw it and notice that it draws um, pretty realistic circles. If we didn't scale it, it would have been really big. Okay. Now for the brush, I'm going to go ahead and make this stake here. But um, I'm not going to be using that brush. I'm going to be going back to my charcoal brush that I was using with uh, black. And I'm going to fill that maybe with a brown. And I'm going to bring down the width. OK. So, next we're going to do the brush with the tree. So, um, you can, I'm going to choose charcoal feather, and I'm basically going to uh, trace the trunk of the tree like that. Now, I'm, what I'm doing is clicking each time that I want to have a new brush like that. Um, I'm going to group that. It's always a good idea to group your brush strokes. So if you want to change the color, I can easily just change my color. You can even change, um, I'm going to change it to chalk scribble. So um, you can do that as well. Next, we're going to use a scattered leaves. OK, so you see fall leaf under brushes. I'm going to double click on that. And these are the settings I want to use. 60% size, spacing, 10%, minus 100 for scatter and that rotation. And for method, I'm going to choose hue tints. And I'm going to keep, you can change the color. Go ahead and just choose the color that you'd want to use. Actually, I'm going to try to use that one. I'm going to hit OK. Good. <clears throat> So I'm basically going around and going over the lines. And then you can always move your leaves if you need to. OK. Um, you can also change some if you want some different colors. I'm going to change a couple so it looks a little bit more realistic. So, okay. Next, we're going to use a calligraphy brush to make the strokes of the uh, lake. So, under brushes, 
Uh, click on the triple line arrow and we're going to go show calligraphy brushes and we're going to use five point oval and basically we're going to be choosing a blue stroke and sorry go five point flat we want five point flat because we want something more like this go ahead and Make some ripple effects. Okay, next we're going to make grass for our picture. So go ahead and use the rectangle tool. Uh, choose a green color with no stroke. And then we're going to go to effect, stylize, and we're going to choose scribble. And for scribble, we're going to choose a 71% angle. And we're going to choose uh, the options that you show are seen here. And we can preview that and yep that's what we want and we're gonna go ahead and carry that out all the way to the edge and extend it and now we're gonna make a rectangle at the bottom half part and we're gonna call this blue okay and for this blue we're gonna double click on the gradient and we're actually going to add a gradient effect to this. Uh, now, for the first color, choose maybe like a lighter color blue. And then for the second color, maybe a darker color blue. So maybe something like that. Now, notice how it's going left to right. We want to take our cursor and go sh uh, click. Hold on the shift key and go straight up. Make sure it extends past your borderline and hit enter. Okay. Usually it gets from lighter to darker. Usually the deeper the water, the darker it gets. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and command shift left bracket to put that behind everything. Okay. Next we're gonna go into our symbols and with the pencil tool, um, over here, or N, we're going to create some little grass. Um, make a green stroke, a different color than what we just did, though. And we're gonna drag that into the symbols. We call that grass. And that'll be a graphic. Hit OK. And then we can delete that. And with the symbol sprayer tool, we can basically spray um, grass around. So these are the settings that you have. We can change our density and intensity. You can choose the numbers according to how you want it to look. But basically just adding some grass in here. The grass is kind of ugly though. And then you can do, um, like if you want to spin some of them different directions so they don't all look alike and so on.